you guys welcome back to a new episode welcome back to a new vlog almost wanted to say vlogmas but it's no longer the case i decided to focus this january on giving you as many tips as possible on how to set the year correctly and how to set your goals how to set your intentions in order to achieve this life of your dreams and i actually talked a little bit about this in my previous video on how i did a little bit of a review of 2022 what the lessons were and how i'm setting my intentions by focusing on three different areas so for this episode i was thinking to go a little bit more in depth with my goal setting with the attitudes that i am taking this year one trend that i am seeing going viral and i absolutely love it and i want to do it my main theme of this year it's time to smash 2023 my videos for some time maybe you know that i usually like to choose a theme for this year maybe a word, maybe a phrase, maybe something that really inspires me. And I think I have like two different things that really create emotion inside me when it comes to the mindset and the attitude that I want to have in this new year. And the two phrases are, one, be so good, they cannot ignore you. So be so good in what you're doing that everyone knows about you, everyone talks about you positively, of course. And the second thing is one trend that is now circulating on TikTok and that I absolutely love, which is called having the lucky girl syndrome. Probably also create a physical vision board. I like to have this kind of phrases all the time, seeing them. Somehow I, it doesn't work for me so easily on the phone or on the laptop, but having it physical, it's something else. It might be a theme for the next episode. However, these two phrases, I think, stand in the middle of what I'm going to do this year. If the first one is self-explanatory that you are the best, you are super good at what you're doing. The second one, let me explain it. This trend on TikTok says that you have to consider yourself one of the luckiest people ever, that everything happens in your favor, everything happens for you, everything happens and surprises you in the most beautiful way possible. So think about if you would be the luckiest person alive, how would your life look like? Would more doors be open for you? Would people want to be around you? Would you receive like a lot of attention, gifts and beautiful things into your life? Probably the answer to this is yes. This mindset actually works hand in hand with the law of assumption, which says that what you assume about yourself or about your world or about someone manifest exactly into your life so if you assume that you are lucky you will manifest you will attract more luck into your life now if you already watched the previous episode about setting goals and doing one of these exercises called the 111 wishes which is super amazing i will take you one step further and give you a little bit more insight into how i'm thinking my goals and how it actually helps me stay motivated and helps me stay focused on what i want yeah i just like to put all the goals that i have into categories so for example one would be health and wellness one would be finances one would be career and i put them differently one would be relationships you can also add social life personal development spirituality things for yourself try to give a note to each of these categories like how would you rate this category right now on a scale from 1 to 10 is it a 10 are you absolutely satisfied with how it is going or is it maybe a 5 it's still a lot of work in progress or is it maybe even less maybe it's a 2 or a 1 then it definitely needs some work there this really gives us a lot of perspective where we can work where we can improve it to bring an 8 to a 10 rather than a 1 to a 10 so this one definitely takes more time rather than just giving some notes to each of these categories i also think about some actionable steps for let's say i would take one the social life i want to improve my social life this is actually one of the goals for me this year i think i have already a pretty good social life i would say it's around maybe seven right now but i still feel that it's some room for improvement so my goal would be to create a group of friends that i really feel aligned to that i can really feel open and vulnerable and share things this is the end goal but what would be the steps in between 
what are the actionable steps that I can do myself for example I can sign up for different events I can put myself more out on the social channels and maybe just say <laughs> like a dating announcement like hey I am this kind of person I like to do this I like to go out I like nature I like to talk about manifesting and spirituality really when you show yourself who you are as a personality you know people are naturally attracted to you so bottom line think about your goals share them in different categories as i mentioned try to give a note to each of your category as it is right now and think about how you can improve it think about some actionable steps that you can take to bring it a little bit higher. another thing that can help you in setting your goals correctly and in achieving them and keeping you motivated is not just to state what you want to have or to do like for example I want to have $5,000 for example I want to have a partner or I want to have a relationship but think about rather how would you feel in that relationship so the secret to attracting more easily things into your life and also achieving your goals is to always coordinate it with one feeling you, ju you don't just want the relationship to have a relationship you want this relationship why because it would make you feel in love it would make you feel satisfied it will make you feel on cloud nine it will make you feel stable or whatever emotions come into your really hope this advices this way of doing goal setting has helped you inspired you gave you some ideas of how to upgrade this practice because it's super powerful it's okay if it's taking you more than one day i think it can also take like the whole month of january to set goals because it's something that you really want to focus your energy this year it's really something that will push you motivate you give you strength in the moments when things won't go your way and this also always happens and created the biggest highs when you achieve them and when you are living them as mentioned and you might have already noticed some of the things that i'm working on this year which is first my social life because although i traveled a lot over the last six months over the last year i think it can have some improvements this year to be a little bit more aligned with everyone that i'm meeting to really have intentional relationships really have fulfilling relationships because it makes such a difference the thing that i'm of course working on which i already mentioned is my physical aspect so my fitness level and it's not just to look good it's also for me to feel more strength two years i almost barely worked out and you and i could feel this in every bone everything was cracking i was not feeling as flexible as before in my body and for me who i was always like sporty and always into this active lifestyle at least over the last years it really felt like it's not my identity and i don't want to keep it to be lazy and to not work out so i'm working right now in getting back to who i would used to be the fun thing that i actually want to continue to work on is to grow my hair long and natural i already started the process last year to let it grow its natural color they just have a little bit of still uh, dye in it but it's okay i like it but i really want to focus on getting it super healthy and balancing also my nutrition because over the last six months either because of stress either because of some changes in my lifestyle i am not sure i was dealing with a lot of hair loss like never before and my hair became really fragile and my whole hair like my whole scalp was, was always like itching and the volume was down I always had super natural beautiful hair and it felt like really a hit and it really affected my confidence and i was thinking like oh my god i am just 27 years old and i'm already losing my hair like what's going to happen with the rest of my life but luckily it started to grow again i started to use less and less product focus on my nutrition focus on taking care as much as i can hoping that it's going to be even better in the future so now that i talked enough about goals and planning and how to make it super fantastic let's start together to take down the christmas tree and i will go a little bit later to grab a super nice dinner from a korean restaurant which became slightly my favorite uh, on our street just enjoy the rest of this cozy winter night
Okay, so I did a little bit of a do-it-yourself project because I didn't want to get rid of the lights just yet because it looks kind of empty around here. Let me show you. Now that the tree is gone, it felt like something was missing. So I just took the lights from the tree and I... Ah, that's my hair. So I just took the lights from the tree and I glued them here with some tape band. And let's see how it looks like. Turned off the lights. Going to see where the battery is and... Ooh. Let me put something on. Okay, so it looks kind of cute. Kind of cute. Nice, I like it. This will do for the next weeks because it's still winter, it's still dark, so I like it cozy.